Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and I'm in glory be to Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Racha Kodash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect out there teaching this word in all sincerity and truth, in the hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. <coughs> this is Brother Kawabaya coming back at you with another video. Lord willing to feed the flock Hopefully you'll be edified And um You know I pretty much just wanted to um You know do a video on this You know um That was put up This this video here That was put up by the um So the daily record Um Yeah it's put up by the daily record And um you know, and pretty much, you know, we're living in a time now where, um, you know, it's clear to see that, it's clear to see that we're at the end. You know, it's clear to see that, you know, there's, you know, one people standing up to fight against another, which is biblical um, prophecy, you know, springing forth in these last days. Um, you know, all this civil unrest and stuff that we're seeing and we're, we're witnessing is really coming from the Most High. If you... You know, believe in biblical scripture Then you understand that the Most High controls both sides You know, um, there's a scripture in Amos uh, chapter 3 And 6 You know, uh, where people um, You know, be getting injured in these protests People be getting knocked over the side of the head People be getting trampled on People, you know all these things happening, you know, you know, police are arresting people. You even had one guy recently that just shot, I think he shot two protesters. Um, you know, um, and they were standing up for, uh, was it so-called climate change, just stop oil, so on and so forth. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is just stop oil. If I put just to stop all protesters shot. Yeah, this is um this is another one here. You see this? Uh which this is, you know, this is all being set up by Esau, man. This is all set up. And you got you might have some um you know sincere you know people out there that you know that are taken to the streets and they really believe in their cause as a collective and that and whatever, but ultimately man, this is happening because you know, the Lord is, is creating nothing but division in this man's kingdom. Alright, this one was put up three days ago. Look at this, motorist shoots dead two climate protesters um, blocking road in Panama. Two people have died after motorists, a motorist fired shots during a protest against a disputed mining contract in Panama on Tuesday the 7th of November. And all this is happening meanwhile... You know, in the midst of when you got this whole thing going on over there in the so-called Middle East. So there is a lot that's happening on the earth right now, you know. You know, that's why the Apostle Paul, you know, he said, see then that you walk circumspectly, you know. Because there's many ways to skin a cat, as the saying goes. There's many ways that Esau can manipulate these situations in society in order to bring forth his NWO, in order to put forth, you know, these unrighteous decrees, draconian measures, you know, um... Okay, um, to take away the so-called rights of the people. This is Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. So we have to be very diligent in how we measure these times, especially in these last days, you know. You know, it's clear to see that, you know, there's um, nothing but, you know, labor pains. You know, being experienced in this kingdom Lab Those labour pains or those contractions Like a woman in travail 
is liken unto what these plagues that we're witnessing on the earth, whether it be protests, whether it be, you know, wars, rumors of wars, whether it be pestilences, you know, all these things, or whether it be straight up so-called natural disasters, hurricanes, storms, earthquakes in diverse places, you know, this is how we measure the time diligently, you know, to know what time that we're in. It says, and when thou see as part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're, we're very, very close to where the Lord is going to come back and pretty much, you know, uh, bring Esau's kingdom to a close. You know? Hey, like Michael Jackson, I was watching clips of him this morning. And his last concert was called What This Is It. <laughs> hey, although Apostle Ricard always makes a joke, This is it! The final curtain call! You know, this is it! Hey, you know, this is this is it, man, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, we're right, you know, we're right at the time where Yahweh Shai is about to make a return. You know, he's coming, he's coming to gather his elect. This is it. You know? And we have to understand that, you know, understand what the will of the Lord is, understand what biblical prophecies are taking place, understand, measure the time diligently. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and we've seen earthquakes, one of the, the biggest ones we just had recently with, um, you know, Turkey and parts of Syria and that you had, you know, 50,000 people plus, you know, their lives came to an end. You know, um, that was a major earthquake, you know. But there's been many more earthquakes that have happened before and after that. So the Lord said, when it shall be seen. So these, these, biblical, these biblical prophecies that we're witnessing right now, we're reading about, you know, we're actually living, we're actually playing them out in real time. You know, so the Bible is not a made up storybook or anything like that. It's, it's no, this, this is a living book. You know, this is, it contains power. It contains biblical prophecy. You know, the ability to understand and apply it to the times that we're in is is um is a blessing, you know. So let me read verse three again. It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, uproars of the people, man. You know, which um you know we're we're witnessing these things play out. Which what's an uproar? Okay, uproar. It would help if I spell it correctly. But that's okay. We'll get there in the end, you know? Lord willing. An uproar is a loud and impassioned noise or disturbance. A public expression of protest or outrage. I'm going to show you an example of an uproar. Okay. Okay, I had to pause it because of these stupid adverts. But yeah, let me show you an example of an uproar. This is an uproar. <laughs> and you know, these guys, these blockheads, they're all stupid, man. Like, well, you're not English anymore. You know, come on, man. Like, <laughs> these yeah, Esau's got these peons out here. They don't know what's going on. They don't know anything about history. And first of all, man, who was ruling all throughout Europe, man? You know, during the so-called Dark Ages, Israelites, man, so-called black people, man. How about that? You know? Talking about you're not English. You're not English anymore. Okay? But Esau's pretty much straight up showing you, man, that he's, um... He don't give a fuck about the people. He just wants chaos. <laughs> he wants one people coming up against another people. He wants that. He wants opposition. Remember, they, they work... In secrecy, these elites, you know, they have their um, New World Order agenda where they want um, order through chaos, you know, which is a which is an oxymoron, you know, organized chaos. That's an oxymoron, man. All right, or organized mess. That's an ox oxymoron. Okay, that's a contradictory statement right there. And you know, Esau, he he is, he thrives off deception. That's why he's the devil, you know. He wants this happening, man. He wants, you know, these protests going on. Why? Because he ultimately, 
um, you know, he wants to, um, you know, introduce martial law. You know, he wants to push out the chip. He wants to chip people. So this is an uproar, man. A loud and impassioned noise or disturbance, a public expression of protest or outrage. That's what it. That's what it is. That's what's happening. The, the Bible told us that these things will be happening. Okay, and even when you go to Second Ezra fifteen, and I'm gonna start from the fourteenth verse, it says. In fact, let me start from one, and I'm gonna jump around to the fourteenth verse. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy." So our job is to pretty much prophesy, you know, daily. Our job is to prophesy, watch, measure the time diligently, and prophesy. You know, speak the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, in the ears of his people, you know, the, the Israelites. Okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you know, uh, whether you will hear or whether you will forbear, you know, just like the scripture says that we are to prophesy unto the wind, right? Because ultimately, you know, the elect are going to hear this word and they're going to be, um, they're going to be sealed with this knowledge, you know, but the wicked of our people, they're just going to be out there completely unstable, void of understanding, and they're going to be destroyed. When the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy a lot of people. The slain of the Lord shall be many, right? Isaiah 66. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, which prophecy, the word prophesy means to say before. So all we're doing is declaring what's going to happen before it's going to happen, before it actually happens. And we're telling you about the MOTB, the mark of the beast. Okay, which is the microchip. And if you don't believe that, you're going to be standing in line waiting to receive that implant. Because you believed in Esau's deception. You believed in his, his false promises, his lies, that he's going to bring stability and order to these cities where really he just wants total control. He's trying to play the most high. And the Bible says that if you take that chip, then it's destruction for you. Revelation 14 and 9. So that's a part of biblical prophecy too. It says, and I, which I will put in thy mouth. So these ain't the words that we're speaking. These are the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. These are not our own words. We're not coming out. We're not pulling these words out of thin air. We're reading them to you. We're breaking it down through the spirit. You know, that's why, you know, the scriptures speak about, you know, wisdom being a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all that I get in, get understanding. It's about understanding, you know, what's going on. Understanding what times we're in, which is going to keep us stable, right? Say if the Lord and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. All right. So these words are faithful. So let's keep reading. Let's jump down to verse 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And a major destruction is going to be administered by those nuclear missiles, man. You know, uh, uh, you know the uh, ICBMs, right? In addition to Yahweh Shai coming back with the so-called UFOs and the angels, the armies of heaven following him upon their so-called UFOs, the white horses spoken of in Revelation 19. You know, and, this is, and he's coming to bring destruction. Okay, it says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right. So this is what, you know, you see in the beginning stages of how violent things are going to really, really get. Because this ain't this ain't shit in comparison to what's coming. Okay. This ain't shit in comparison to what's coming. And what I want to do is I want to pull up. Um, how do I get this? Um, let me see. Pull up the comments and stuff. The comments have been turned off. Okay. Well, let me pull up the... Um... Here we go. This is what I wanted. Right? It says Tommy Robinson. Which says Tommy Robinson guy, he's like... Um... You know, he's... Um... He's like a, a rabble rouser, you know? Which I remember the elder brother... Um... From um, GMS Vegas sit downs page, you know, um, Elder Karataza, I believe his name is. You know, he did a a video and he was speaking about rabble rousers and how you're gonna have them out here. You know, um, you know, you got inside insiders, okay, that are set up to really, you know, uh, stoke the flames, rabble rousers of the people. You know, rabble rousers. A person who speaks with the intention of inflaming the emotions of a crowd of people, typically for political reasons. All right. And really, you know, you've got these um, these elites, they've got these um, rabble rousers or agent provocateurs set up in every single sector. 
You know, because if the elites didn't want this to happen, they wouldn't have it happen. But they want this to happen. And this guy, Tommy Robinson, the guy you can see on the to the left of the screen, in the uh, in the brown, it looks like a like a ruddy type of, you know, type of jacket. Um, let me see if I can. You know, he's nothing but a rabble rouser. Okay, but the Lord said that there was going to be sedition among men. This is him here, this guy. You know. <laughs> and then you got these meatheads that are next to him, <laughs> believing in his very cause and what he, you know, and what he what he speaks on. And yeah, you know, Mike, you know, Mike. It's basically is that make um, instead of make America great again, make Britain great again, and all that kind of shit. You know, these, these guys are just stupid, man. This is like the UK's version of the Proud Boys, if you will. All right, which again, the elites, you know, they want this controlled opposition, man. They want, you know, the Hegelian dialectic, pressure from above, pressure from beneath. They want one people standing up to fight against another, which ultimately is the Lord that's doing this. Okay? Ultimately, it's the Lord that's doing this because, you know, th this is that division. All right? And this is ulti um, ultimately going to be another reason for them to usher in more order or draconian measures through the chaotic situations that are happening in the streets. But you've got these rabble rousers. All right? Uh, you know, they're speaking... With the intention of inflaming the emotions of the crowd. All right. So let's um. Let's keep going here. It says um. And one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Now, when you look up that word sedition, this is another word. Okay, uh, sedition. Okay. It says a conduct or speak or speech inciting people to rebel against authority of a state or a monarch. You know, uh, which ba basically like inflammatory speech. Okay, that's basically what sedition is. It's like inflammatory speech, which is ex exactly what we're witnessing in these last days. You know, and whether the speakers um, are coming from a place of sincerity or not. Okay. The Lord, the point, the point of the matter, the fact of the matter is the Lord actually, you know, the Lord actually declared that this is going to happen. You know, and it's, it's funny, man, because as I sit here, I'm actually, I'm sitting outside of a pub and in, on, a, on a window, it speaks about, you know, there's a sign put up saying Black Lives Matter. You know, and it says we live in an unequal, I'm, I'm reading it, you know, as I'm doing this video, I'm, let me read it out to you because I'm parked right outside this particular you know, window where it's actually, um, and people, these Edomites, <laughs> they keep walking past and just looking at it, shaking their heads, laughing to themselves. You know, um, <laughs> Esau's kingdom's done. It says we live in an, un it says we live in an unequal society. Many of us, low waged, serious housing problems, single parents, disa uh, disabled, special needs children. And you know, a lot of these things that are being reeled off in, on this poster are, well, that's pretty much a protest right there. That's a, a placard that's put up at someone's, you know, the front of someone's pub window. All right. Which uh, single parent households, uh, housing problems, all of that. That really goes back to Esau and how he's, con he's you know, constructed his society. You know, when you've got the uh, single parents, you know, Esau pushes feminism that promotes single parent households. So it really it all goes back to Esau. You're disabled children, special needs. You've got a lot of children, oh, um, you know, on medication and, you know. Having to rely on big pharma from young, you know these pharmaceuticals. Which the word pharma, uh, pharmacy goes back to what pharmakia in the Greek, which means witchcraft and sorcery. So Esau, you know, pretty much he's like a a major warlock, you know, and pushing left hand side energy, and really destabilizing the whole earth, you know. And through all that chaos, you know, through the um, American Medical Association. You know, the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, you know, all this processed, highly processed foods and, you know, uh, giving children pre-diabetes or diabetic, you know, um, you know, a, a diabetic child is like a, a, a gold mine to a big pharma company, man. You know, insulin resistance, you know, from all these high processed foods, all this sugar, all the chemicals that they pumping in these foods. Okay, where do you think all these, you know, these things lead to communications, confusions, problems? 
And you have people protesting about that too. Okay, which is another, you know, reason why you got protests out here. And then that whole Black Lives Matter. Okay, which I've never seen a black life in my life. You know, um, we ain't black, man. We're so-called, we're so, we say so-called black, but we're Israelites, you know. Different shades of brown, if you will. We ain't black. But you see, Esau's pushing this, you know. You know, the um, one people against another people, which really ultimately is the Lord. All right, which is, this is bringing forth that sedition among men. It says, and invade them one another. And especially when there's no food in the supermarket shelves. Like I just went to the supermarket just now and boy, it was like a fucking jungle in there, man. You know, people in every aisle, just, you know, these, these cities are going to become death traps, death zones real soon. You best believe people are going to invade one another. All right. If they're, if they're doing this now, Okay, when the lights are on, they're marching down the street when they're, you know, in full with full bellies. Even I think Tommy Robinson he even mentioned Nando's in this, you know, which Nando's is like a grilled food spot. You know, you can get some grilled chicken and that and whatever. But you know, these people are marching down the street with smiles on their faces. It ain't really got serious yet. But wait till when it starts getting real serious. That's when people you're gonna see, you know, people invading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes And the course of their actions shall stand in their power Yeah, they're going to take matters into their own hands You know They ain't going to worry about your, you know, your prime ministers And your, your this, your that, your police force They ain't going to worry about nothing All the stupid rules that are being put in place Because all hell is about to break loose And this is exactly what Esau wants Okay so he can come forth with the solution after people have been be been beaten to the knees mentally. You know, they're going to be begging for order and stability. And that's going to come at a price of your so-called freedoms. You're going to have to get chipped. You're going to have to get tagged. You know, and they want to know everything you buy, you, you know, where you, what you buy and sell, where you are. Okay. Which is going to lead to those, you know, those, you know, those, you know, those 10 minute, 15 minute cities. You're gonna be able. You ain't gonna be able to go from one place to another. You're gonna be constantly monitored. You know, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, and that's what was happening with the lockdowns. You know, they've already trialed and tested that, where you had people that were crying, tears rolling down their face because they couldn't visit their their grandma across town because of the pan, you know the pandemic. You know, people were being, uh, you know, put under house arrest. All right, so that's that right there. That's that prophecy, you know. We're living it out. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Like they show you in the, the movies like Equilibrium, Hunger Games, or In Time, you know. Where you got these different zones. You can't go in there. You can't just go in there. You can't just walk through. No, you got to get scanned. You got to get ele electronically scanned. And these, these, the, the, you know, the chip that these people are, these implants that people are going to have will be emitting radiation underneath the skin. Which is going to give them that that pus, that discharge, you know, that's spoken of in Revelation 16 and 2, you know, that noisome and grievous sore. All right. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Yeah, because of all the pride in these cities, man, you know, the, these people are so proud, it's unreal. You know, and we can't, we can't wait. You know, even just going to the supermarket, man, it fucking rubs us up the wrong way. We don't, we don't like this place. We're vexed. We're coming in that spirit a lot. Lot was like vexed because the scripture says and seeing. In fact, let's get it because I don't want to just let's get it, man. Um, Second Peter chapter two, right? Second Peter chapter two and um, and seven. It says and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So Lot was vexed, man. You know, be walking down the street. You be, you know, you be seeing these, you know, skittles walking down the street, hand in hand, talking about filthy things, filthy conversation, or just random bullshit. You know, these, especially these women, all this shit that comes out of their mouth. Yeah, uh, and their voice is just—it's like a nails on a chalkboard. Sometimes you just want to just uppercut them, you know. Which I ain't advocating that, but yeah, I'm saying sometimes you just feel like fucking. Clotheslining these bitches out here Because of the level of pride that's on them But the Lord is going to humble that pride 
the Lord is actually going to humble that pride of these, these, you know, especially in these cities because they got everything at their fingertips, convenience. Mm, these women, you know, everything's that you know within a stone a stone throw away from them. They're taking it all for granted, and that that's vexing, man. You know, because that comes with a sense of you know entitlement, pride. You know, it says for that righteous for that righteous man. So Lot was a righteous man in dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So he was getting vexed from day to day man. every single day. There's not a day that goes by that we don't see something that don't vex us. Even just waking up in this filthy ass kingdom. It's vexing to us, man. All right. For the Lord, right. For the Lord know, for the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and the hour of temptation is coming, man. The final test, if you will, you know, being able to pass the hour of temptation, Lord willing to put the Lord puts the spirit upon us to stand strong in the end when we're confronted with that chip. OK. Because there's going to come a time from all of this chaos that Esau is just going to, you know, manipulate all these things that are happening over there. You got, you know, what's going on over there in the Middle East? You're going to have, you know, now they got to deal with Hezbollah. Israel's got to deal with Hezbollah, Houthi rebels. They got to deal with pretty much the whole the whole, uh, uh, you know, people that follow after the religion of Islam are, are you know, are up in rules about this. And, you know, and ultimately, it's not just the police that these guys are going up against. They're going up against Palestinian, Palestinian protesters as well. They're going up in people's faces. We were born in this country and all that. So this is like, you know, and remember, you got the Albert Pike, you know, uh, the, the free world wars, you know. That plan or that, yeah, that blueprint that they want to follow of the plan for free world wars and they want to, you know, pit the Zionists against the, the, you know, the community of Islam and so on and so forth. You know, but they said they want the people beaten down to complete physical, moral and emotional exhaustion. You know, so this is, this is, you know, this is going to get even worse, man. It's going to get even more violent. People, people are going to start dying in these protests, just like they show you in the... In the show, the remake of The Handmaiden's Tale Or The Handmaid's Tale Where people were protesting one minute And then all of a sudden They started just firing live rounds at them People started dropping dead I wanted to read this It says fights have broken out Between police and far right thugs You see that? Fights are breaking out People are getting injured out here Who are attempting to break through London Right, the London Cenotaph Cordon According to reports It's like some sort of memorial Okay, the cenotaph. It says a huge crowd of people walked through the embankment. They could be seen waving the St. George's flags chanting England till I die. <laughs> All right. And again, they got these agent provocateurs that are in these, you know, leading these uh, packs taken to the streets for a reason. As reported by the mirror, which some of them could even be sincere, but hey, a lot of them, the most of them, man, you know. For the most part They just fucking Even if you are sincere You don't even know What's really going on But you see We through the spirit We know what's going on Okay Auto abkeo man Alright As reported by the mirror The police tried to block them From reaching the white hall But the thugs managed To barge their way past them You know They could be heard Shouting Let's have them You know The police As the police got out Their batons Alright It says the, the group appears to have reached Whitehall where the cenotaph is situated and many more are pushing through, shouting forward. <laughs> it says just moments before the public, members of the public took part in the Armistice Day two minute silence to mark the end of the First World War. The clashes took place in London. Clashes, man. One people standing up to fight against another. Divisions. OK, uh, uproars of the people. So this is the time that we're in. It's very, very serious. And ultimately, like I said, this is the Lord that's doing this because I wanted to read that Amos. Um, Amos three and six, it says, shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? So ultimately, the Lord is behind all of this, man, stirring up the pot, you know, for the time of the end, you know, because remember, he's using Esau to push out, you know, that chip. You know, really, ultimately, it's the most highest chip. And we're going to be tested with it, man. All right. So we that's this is why we have to be, you know, we have to be strong, you know, 
in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, we have to be faithful. We have to know what's going on. We have to be diligent in how we measure these times and not get caught up in the hype of, you know, the rest of the, you know, these, these idiots out here, these blockheads. Okay. And like I said, while you got all of this happening over here, you got all of that shit going on over there in the Middle East, which is creating more and more hate, you know, for Israel and their allies, America, Britain, you know, and you're going to have more and more, you know, you know, so-called terrorists springing out of nowhere as well. And, you know, we're just waiting for a major false flag attack. Again, they can use all of this, you know, to stage a false flag event. Really, now's not even the time to be grouped around with a bunch of people because all it all it will take is for a next like so called nine eleven scale event for Esau to really you know you know ramp up his draconian measures, which ultimately is going to lead to the chip. All right, and the people will be begging for that chip to be pushed because they're going to want silence. They're going to want you know some form of order. You know, as opposed to the chaos that they're witnessing right now, which is only going to get worse, man. All right. So with that, I don't want to make this too long. I pray this was edifying, you know, to the next time I want to say Shalom.